Hi and welcome to C's Park of Corner. Go show the line And welcome. This is week 27, I think, for um, viewer comments. Well, whatever. And we got a bunch of them, so let's get started. And welcome all of our new subscribers, all of our viewers, and all this. The first one is from Connie. XOXO213. Shout out, honey. XOXO213. Shout out. And it's about the Gotham Steel Pan. You're hilarious. Thank you for the review. This is what he says from Thank 17 you. hours ago. At least. Mm -hmm. Well, and this is, 17 hours ago. This is um, from last week's video review from OKP. Shout out to OKPs. Is the, a smart worth getting? Our oldest child will be going off to college and thinking of getting her a safe, good, small car, good on gas. What do you guys think where you had yours for years? We had one for years. Uh, okay, peace about the smart car. It's all a question of how the person drives, if it's actually safe or not. That's for a her, their oldest child to go to college. Uh, as for going to college, what you might want to do is do a ride along with your oldest child for a bit and then see if the smart car will be a wise choice because it depends how the person drives the smart car, okay? But if your child is a responsible, safe driver, much like how we are, you know, making sure there ain't nothing to the left or right of the vehicle, plus the smart car will get extra attention on the road. Yeah. Right. And as long as the person's not a heavy speeder, yeah, the smart car is safe. Plus, it depends on the roads that you're driving to and from. That's the major question. The downside is only a two-seater. It's being two-seater. It's just the college car, and then person get a car that they want after the fact. Now, if the child is doing a lot of interstate driving, where you'll be doing like heavy, high amount of speed, where then I would not recommend the smart car. I would actually recommend something a bit beefier to take more punishment if something happens. But it's mostly like girl driving like roads where like you're not going to be passing like. 30 or 40, then yeah, the smart car is fine. It's just all how you drive and what you're doing with your vehicle. If it's just like a college like Gainesville, something like that, a college town, then it's pretty safe. Yeah, so the smart car will be fine. Um, so if it's just your, your child's just going to be using for college, so you know that he can get to and from his classes, okay, and groceries and what he or she will have to do, since you didn't say the gender, I'm just used to saying he because I have a son. Um, you know, it's a pretty, it's a pretty it's good a car. gender, actually. Her. Oh, her. It's a her. Probably the smart car will be safe enough, but if you're going, it's like a heavy amount of interstate driving, I wouldn't go with the smart car. Like, I went all over the place when we had the smart yeah. car. I went on the interstate, no problem. Yeah, I know. It's just, it just on interstate. The smart car is not the type of vehicle you would really want to be in like a heavy high-speed accident that's the thing okay use the other vehicles crumble what well, i suggest you do is i suggest you have your child lease it for three years and not buy it so that way they can take it back and get something better after but i mean it's up to you if you you know your child's driving i didn't have any problems and the gas my cars get about 50 miles a gallon so it's good on gas but there's other cars that are good on gas too that's a little bit bigger mm -hmm. so my suggestion is that if you're thinking they take you, you and your child go together and both of you test drive it and feel it out and feel how your child drives and both of you Yeah, but flat out. It. If it's not a lot of interstate driving, like I mean, it's, commuting it's over fault. commuting over an interstate back and forth from where the person be staying at to the because of the college, then as long as you're not doing that, then you're fine with the smart car. I didn't have any out. problems with it. I took my car everywhere. I went everywhere yeah. with it. I loved it, so that's uh, just how I'm, I I, I just couldn't keep it because it only hits Two people. That was the whole big old problem. Yeah. I was having to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, but still. The smart car will be fine as long as you're not heavy interstate mm -hmm. driving. But if, but if your child's staying on campus, then the smart car will be passed fine. If, just, your, child, if, your, if your child, if her is staying on campus at the university, then the smart car is way past the line. Mm -hmm. But thank you for asking. And we do thank you that you respect us enough to ask our opinion. But we don't know your child, so... And we don't know can. where you're going to be driving or uh, how the car is right. going to be Right, and we don't use. know what college campus it's in and whatnot. If it's way in a place that's a lot of snow, I wouldn't recommend it because mm -hmm. it'll get stuck a lot. But anyway, thank you for asking, and we appreciate you, OKP. Shout out to OKPs. And let's get on with the next one. Um, this this is, is from Joe, Joe and Joe Chris, Chris and uh, 4X Pax Present. 
Okay, peace from a day ago. This is w w this is one of my new favorites. Joel is really funny. Yeah, he is funny. I just wish we could have him on more. The problem is he's very busy. Thank you. Yeah, we love that one too. And the next is David and me talking together about the stuff. How big, how big of a crew you would really need uh -huh. for a five-year journey. Okay, peace a day ago. I like this chat video. <laughs> yeah, thank you, okay, peace. Next is a new subscriber. Drum Adventure 83. Shout out to Drum, Drum Adventure 83 on how to make um, corn, not cornbread, chip beef. Chip beef. And it said the snotty snorting is extra appetizing. Thank you very much. I know that was a joke last life. David since then has new. Allergy medicine is just yeah. I I just got very I'm a very bad allergy sufferer. So every now and then my sinuses go very 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 badly. Okay, now we're to one day ago and to guinea pig we use passing from House on the Hill. Shout out to House on the Hill and thank you and welcome to Steve Sparkles Corner. I am so very very sorry. It was so apparent how beloved he was. He had a wonderful home with you and he had a happy life. Thank you for the good care and you and love you gave him. I am sorry for your pain and his parting. Thank you, House on the Hill. We're all haven't gotten over yet, but we're doing our best. Shout out House on the Hill. Shout out House on the we're, Hill. We're, Thank you for your sympathy. We're Most appreciated. Trying. We're trying. Yeah. Let me do some more loading. Okay. Next is OK Peace and a Mask Man video. And OK Peace, this is th about the Mask Man. Yeah, uh, there you go. We missed the Mask Man. Yeah, the uh, thing is that the Mask Man is kind of hard to actually do videos with sometimes. So, uh, but plus we're, we're a bit short on stuff to actually destroy that warrants that. Yeah. But he will be coming back later. He's just on vacation right now. Oh, this is the comment you were talking about earlier. Uh huh. And this is C Sparkle, David, and Chris. Talking in front of Dunkin' Donuts from OK Peace. You deal with this. Yeah, there you go. Chris, you, you did not so seem to. I and the cut cuts up there. Want to chat. You just wanted to talk on the phone. The chat would have been better if no one talked on the phone and talked to each other. Sorry, not the best video, David. See Sparkle, see more into it. Uh. Is she has a right to? You you make a good point, okay. She piece. was right. You make a good point, okay. Because I was not actually after I wasn't very pleased with uh, Chris being mostly on the phone like he was at that point. I don't remember what was going on at the time, but he was just really into. He the, was just joking with his friend on the phone. Yeah, he not was yeah. doing. Yeah. Apologies, S okay. Peace and stuff like years. that happens with a completely unscripted YouTube channel. Okay, so expect it. Just yeah. like when somebody's having bad allergies, they decide to do something, and we just had to record it anyways, uh, expected. Because, you know, something that happens with an unscripted YouTube channel. So, yeah. <laughs> but, Chris, okay, Pete, you were absolutely right. I have to agree with you, though. Chris should have actually 86 the phone for a while. Yeah, because he was talking about nonsense. Yeah. Next is the Knife Ball Tournament 1 from OK Peace. Yeah, OK Peace from a day ago. Congrats, David, on the win. Yep. Yeah, I had the highest points. I hit that win marker. Enough, I guess. <laughs> and this is Sea Sparkles Corner Invading Dodge. Okay, peace from a day ago. Are you guys ever serious? Lol. What's serious? <laughs> I don't know. What is serious? I don't know. We're I not scripted know. YouTube channel, so I don't know. <laughs> and this is another comment from um, David and C Sparkle talking about the topic of the um, ships. OK Peace makes a good point here for Diego that myth me and my mom did not think of. OK Peace that added to that huge, enormous, huge crude ship. Well, like the topic, think the ship would have to offer daycare for parents in year, right? When you get older on a five year journey and or you get you get an incapacitator or somebody can't function on the ship, you would actually need adult daycare. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of those were the fact that we basically maxed the card out. I was going to tag on the end of there. If you actually want to be sit down and actually work numbers out for how big a screw would have to be, then actually do a report on it to basically comment on the video to say that you would like that, which we might do that anyways. Shout out to our Mickey, Mickey McLean. Shout out two days ago. We're now on two days ago. Chris and C Sparkle answering viewers requests last week. It says, I love the dancing in this video. Go Donner, and I love how Chris, Chris is taking selfies mid-video. 
when I was talking with him, yeah. I did a little dance. Uh, Chris has actually been, at the same time, I think, I don't remember what he, he did mention it to me, he's been on the side doing like behind the scenes streaming with some of the videos we've been doing that he's in every now and then. So I don't know what it was, I don't know if it's Facebook, you'll have to check with Chris on that. And this is from Joel Kupacheki. Joel, yeah, our buddy Joe, out. who's in the Joel video that he's commenting on. On Joel and Chris's present birthday. <laughs> Joel's commenting on the video he's in. <laughs> Best of fun, great time with friend after a hard tire time from work. Always have a great time with them. Thank you. We're always glad to have you, Joel. I wish you were here more and we love you. Shout out to Joel. Next is. Sea Sparkles visit to Dodge. Dodge. Okay, peace from a day ago. Two to three days ago. Three days ago. Nice to see you with your friends. Looks like all all I love fun, Chris. All right. Yeah. Hey, Chris, Thank you. Up? Okay, peace. Shout out. Now, welcome Domel. D O M M E L Domel. And on. Xbox 360 clear. Love this video. Thank you, Domo. We appreciate it. Oh, okay. And now, um, it's another comment on Joel and Chris. Chris wanted to be on speaker on the video. And, um, Chris. And <laughs> All right, Chris, you're on the speaker. Prince, Princess Zelly 23. Shout out to Princess Zelly 23 and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. And this is a comment on Joel. And Chris is wrestling with the present. <laughs> How did you feel going through all that gift wrap? <laughs> and uh, rebate, a reply from Virus Umbre, which this is Chris, Chris said, "Good." <laughs> he loved it. We all loved it. Yeah, we loved it. It's okay. Uh, uh, Chris, Chris wants to say something on, on it. Okay, Chris, you're on the speakerphone. In about six minutes, you to get right through the door and say hello to everybody. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in six minutes. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is from the Xbox 360 Clear and um, from OK Peace. And this should be a question Dave needs to ask. Okay, OK Peace from five days ago, five Xbox days. 360 Clear Mod. Uh, what I'm basically doing is I'm trying out the clear cases and I think it'll make it easier to actually work on the controller. The problem with the they gray... They asked what was wrong with the gray one. What was wrong with the gray one wasn't much except for the fact of the matter was that... I figured the clear one would be easier to maintain because you're actually supposed to take your analog controls apart with the, the analog sticks to actually oil them. Also, the thumbsticks were worn out on it anyways. So it actually had, just had general wear use because that was actually an old controller case. And we're now five days ago and, and, and another comment from Joel and Chris's wrestling from OK Peace. From what was there. going on in your mind? <laughs> LMAO and then Virus Umbrace said everything. And OK Peace answered that with Virus Umbre, lots of laughs. laughs. And then um, Virus Umbre said, OK Peace, thanks, me, AKA Chris. <laughs> <laughs> OK, that, now that was that, we're still five days ago. And it's how to make an eggnog float from OK Peace. OK Peace, five days ago, wow, that looks yummy. Where's mine in law? Well, OK Peace, uh, you yeah, can easily make your own. I was just going to actually be doing another one, but unfortunately, we ran out of the eggnog ice cream, which was actually way too good. So that's a slight technicality. Shout out to Bridget Armstrong, Bridget Armstrong and shout out to Pink Orchid. Thank you for doing. Uh, to. Thank you for viewing the show. We're not answering that. Okay. All right. And then, um, okay, now it's how to make an eggnog. <laughs> Again, they both just said hi, so we're saying hi back. And this is Savannah Baldwin, one of our newest subscribers. Shout out to Savannah. Shout out to Savannah. And how to make eggnog. Eggnog float. Uh, oh my god, I'm not sure if you're a Mad Hatter for tea or eggnog and then did the uh, big sm big uh, open mouth smile and then Chris applied both. <laughs> and then my mom and Chris doing the viewer comment one awesome. from OKP six days ago. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Happy Thanksgiving, OKPs. Okay, uh, technicality, I do not know when we're going to loop around because I wasn't on the last response video. We're at six days. We're not looked around yet. And next is OKP six days ago. Again, comment. Chris, what's on the head? Laugh at my L. Uh, he's wearing that P 
pink thing. Pink, Pikachu pink, thing. Pink, pink, Pikachu thing he wears sometimes. I'm not even sure what it's called. Okay, and here's another one from Chris and me answering the questions last week from Still Life. 101. Shout out to Still, still Life 101. Still, still Life 101. Asking if a mom's... Do you still have the smart car? If so, do you like the newer smart car? No, we don't have the smart car. I traded in because it was only two-seater and I had to get going back and forth. And I do like the new smart car. I've seen it. It's larger than the original one. The seats are wider. They're more comfortable. They're more, and that way it's more comfortable. And the, there's no difference in the gas mileage. <coughs> <laughs> but yeah, the new 2016 smart car is still In comparison nice. to the smart car we had, to the newer ones, <laughs> the, it's newer actually, ones better. the newer ones are actually better because it doesn't have the caveman transmission anymore. Okay. Umbrella dance. Move on. Asking for mutual subscription. Andre Clean. Shout out to Andre Clean. And welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Asking for a mutual subscription. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now this is Crystal Corbin. And we already answered that. Okay. So All right. So we moved back around. Chris, so, you want to say hello? Now's the time because we're about to. Oh, Chris, uh, question: the pink, pink, pink thing you had on when you were doing the viewer comment one. Somebody wants to know what it was. So hop in and. Yeah. <coughs> All right. So this will go. The pink thing I was wearing in one of the viewer comments is that mm. your pink bunny hat with long ears to be gloves. Okay. Yeah. Hello, everybody. <clears> hey. <throat> right, okay, and that's all the comments for this week. And Chris just got here just a tad bit late, but we just answered all the videos. And he's saying hey to everybody. And as always, we appreciate all of our viewers and all of our subscribers and all of our new viewers. And we're grateful to all of you. And we're grateful to our Patreon. And as always, the fun never ends in Sea Sparkles Corner. Hugs and kisses from my family. Just love you. Bye, everybody. Thank you.